All right, guys, welcome to Schmatz Outdoors. Uh, we're out here on the line. I got my pops with me today. Uh, I didn't really do an intro, so I'll do a little one now. I loaded up one more beaver trap is it in one big box uh, where I found that new beaver house. We'll drop a beaver set and then the ones on there, I'll put that mink box there. Uh, we're on the fourth and or third and fourth coyote trap. One of them was set off. It looked like I had a skunk in there that pulled out. The, it does happen occasionally, but not very often to me. Uh, the other coyote trap, so what I got, this is a spot I've never trapped, so there's a ravine goes through here, and I normally have sets like a half mile down there, but they're uh, taking the corn off of it now. And going this way, it's just the edge of this big draw here. Uh, I had a coyote set right here, and I got myself a nice coyote. And then over here on the other side of this draw, I got a second one, and that one's set off. Looks like a deer. We'll get you in. He's kind of brown colored, Ooh, kind of brown colored, but looks like a young one, like a pup from this year, but I'll take him. So yeah, four traps in and got myself a nice coyote for the day. So hopefully that uh, holds true for the rest of the day. Have lots of catches, so. And actually, normally when dad rides along with me, that's when I pile up the fur. So need a little extra luck so I convinced him to come along today. All right, we'll get this guy remade and we'll move on. All right guys, so I'm just a little ways down the line. Uh, I did catch one skunk and I forgot to show you guys. Uh, I had that double 220 box inside that barn. Uh, I had a couple dog proofs behind the barn and I did catch a skunk there uh, in one of my dog proofs. Took me a little bit to get him dispatched because he was laying on his back and I couldn't get him to flip over so I had to try and like poke him in the chest which I don't know, it worked okay, but I had to inject him twice to get him, so. But I'm uh, down in the slough. Yesterday I caught one across the road here. Today, this set here is set off. And it looks like I got myself a nice big muskrat in there. So first one of the day. It started off kind of cool this morning. It was only uh, 21 degrees when we left the house, but I think it's already up over 30. So it's going to warm up today. I ain't been busting any ice unless I need to remake the sets. So, all right, we'll get this one remade and uh, move on. Hey guys, finally, I got myself a pair of muskrats. It's the first, first time I got that. So ugh, I'm just across the road from where I caught the last one. I got a uh, nice little muskrat in a 110. And then right here, you guys could probably see him floating right down there. Ugh. Got myself a nice big muskrat in my foothold. Finally caught a, a double. As slow as it's been, I didn't know if I was ever gonna catch two in one spot, but that's why I put two sets in every location. If you only got one trap, you only could catch one at a time, so. All right, we'll get both of these remade and we'll move on. All right, guys, it's been a little bit slow for a little stretch here. Um, no land catches and then uh, a few uh, muskrat sets were set off because of the ice and stuff. Again, I'm not really busting a lot of ice out. Like if they're set off, I'll go out and reset them, you know, make sure they're still working. But in the next day or two, like I said, any of the ice that's on these should open right back up again. They're talking close to 60 again for the weekend. so. But I have a set right over here. I kind of busted the ice around it. And I got a set here and I see, and this is one I busted the ice around yesterday. There was ice out, you know, it's out that far. There was that much ice yesterday. And I busted the ice just like I did now, just from the shore out here. And it paid off. Got myself, he ain't real big, but I got myself a muskrat. I got a bunch more sets down in this slough down farther, so check all those and we'll get moved on all right guys so we're uh moving down the line a little bit here um we got ourselves another catch unfortunately and if you know me you know what that means so we got ourselves a nice striped skunk right here uh this is where i had the badger that's actually the badger set that he's caught in and then i added a queen set right over here it's right here Luckily, he's not in my queen set. I thought he was originally, but he's not. So, good size skunk the way it looks. He smells already. I'm downwind of him right now. So, 
and unfortunately you know my trail goes by my truck is parked downwind of him too so i'm not not real happy but that's what we're gonna have to do because i'm not driving by him we'll uh get him dispatched we'll get this set remade and we'll get the heck out of here all right guys so i'm down to where we uh put in the beaver sets yesterday show up my beaver i had a caster mound right here get out of the sun it was right here i had some dirt and gravel kind of piled up there with my caster on it you can see it's completely leveled off usually that's a good thing i see that i'm like all right first night that'd be pretty awesome i'd only like to catch them like one or maybe two out of here and then i'm gonna pull the beaver sets out of here but unfortunately i walk out and check the thing and you can see that that is not a beaver that is a wet rocky the raccoon in my beaver set got him by full front feet he wasn't getting out he made it like halfway out my drowning wire was it but the water for a raccoon they only got to be a you know, foot deep and you can drown them so we'll get this guy get my cast around remade the best i can here we'll get rocky out of my set here i'm not sure how i'm gonna haul him home so he don't get everything all wet in my truck but We'll get that figured out too. All right, we're going to, uh, on my way back to some of the rest of the sets, we're gonna add one more beaver set in and then I only got about a dozen more traps to show you guys. All right, guys, we're down to the last uh, handful of traps here. Uh, I got two on the other side of the road I ain't checked yet and four on the other end. But I see here, that one's still working just fine. And that one I had the muskrat in yesterday, but this one, my 110 has the muskrat so i think that's only number four for the day so not huge numbers by any means and he's not not the biggest muskrat in the world but for the end of a slow day i guess i'll take anything i can get like i said i got six more in this slew otherwise we'll see you guys at home all right guys so i'm on the other end of the same slew here on the opposite side of the road my 110 the ice is here, but it's real like just crystally pieces. It ain't ain't real solid. So just wanted that one up just a little. But my foothold here, I don't remember if I busted ice around these yesterday or not. But see, my foothold was gone. Ooh. And we got ourselves a muskrat. Holy crap, is he small. He is tiny. Well, Dad says he thinks I got one on the other side here, so we'll get this guy out of there, and I'll show you if I got something over there. Well, guys, uh, we made her home. Not really the super productive day that I thought it was going to be. I did okay, don't get me wrong. For the amount of sets I got out, I did okay, but thought maybe the way we started off the morning, it was going to go gangbusters, but uh, we did... A, did good to begin with, muskrats were slow. A lot of the sous are iced over, not completely over, but had quite a bit of ice around the edges, which means my sets were frozen. Uh, I busted a few of them out. If the traps were set off, I reset them and busted some ice around them. But otherwise I didn't really, uh, I didn't bust ice around all the sets. Uh, we'll see in the morning, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna bust ice around everyone. They're all gonna be cleaned out because starting tomorrow it's not supposed to get below freezing for lows even tonight i think it's only like 28 ish for a low so uh it'll probably put on a little bit of more ice but some of the sewers are opening up i think already so it's up to like mid to high 40s right now i'm not real sure but so i think they're and the wind's picking up a little out of the south right now so maybe the wind being out of the south will uh help open the sous back up but keep it a little bit warmer so it maybe not get below freezing or not that not that cold for not that long and that'll help them from freezing up anymore um yeah they're gonna open back up here in the next couple days so probably be a slow catch tomorrow on muskrats and probably the next day if i had to guess but then i should be hopefully everything up and running and no ice to deal with and uh, we're going to be rebating everything, probably put new carrots because the carrots shrivel up when they freeze. So I'll probably put in uh, fresh carrots on a lot of the uh, uh, baited one and a half pole sets. 
The ones on triggers, as long as they're around the water, dipped in the water, they actually look pretty good. Uh, they don't really dry up and shrivel up. So those I'm not gonna probably mess with at all. Uh, but yeah, and then if I change carrots, we'll relure uh, everything. Again, I'll probably relure everything, get every, like I said, get it working the best I can tomorrow. So hopefully, um, let's see, what's today. Hopefully on Friday, we got a good, good run through the line. Hopefully we could pick up, a, you know, more than just the few I got today. So, and probably like I said, I'd be surprised if I catch many, if any, tomorrow. So, all right, we'll give you a quick rundown of the catch and then we'll give you a little update here. So we got the one coyote we caught real early, just a, I would say young of the year. He's pretty, pretty small compared to the other two that I've caught. He's not, I mean, the best fur, but for this time of year, he's not terrible either. Um, we got the raccoon that I caught in my beaver set. He's still all wet. He's, he's pretty little. He's probably young of the year raccoon. I thought he was a little bigger than that in the water because they always look small when they're all wet, but he does not look like he's got, I mean, he's all, I don't know. I don't know how rough you could see. He doesn't, doesn't have a lot of poof to him, but part of that might be because he's still wet. Uh, over here we got a pair of skunks that I caught today and I did have one pull out of a coyote set and I'll explain that just a little bit here so the very first trap we checked I wanted to walk over by it because they were doing some farming right there took some corn off and I wanted to make sure they didn't run over my set so I walked over there and my set was set off and there was a catch circle not a real heavy catch circle but a catch circle I think the ground was fairly froze last night because none of the animals had a real big like super mud hole of a catch circle today but i kind of wonder uh the skunks tend to chew their feet when they're in the trap and i kind of wonder if he didn't get it chewed enough and then he got his foot pulled out of there because there was definitely skunk hair in the jaws of the trap i was gonna say maybe once a year i have that happen to me once in a while raccoons will do the same thing but typically i still have them i do have skunks they got like tapered legs especially the front legs so it happens. I'm not upset that I lost him, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't want the animal to suffer, but I also don't want to deal with another skunk. So it took me a little bit to get that set remade and all that this morning. And then I had one more coyote trap that deer stepped in, um, right where I caught this coyote. The one, the other trap that was there was set off, so I got that remade too today. Um, and then we ended up with six muskrats today. So not the uh, bumper crop by any means. This guy here is small, like, I mean, he is not big. You know, and I got some nice sized ones again. This one here ain't actually much bigger, I guess. He's pretty little too, but. I don't know, I would say on average, my size has been probably up just a little, and I thought I had pretty good sizes last year of muskrats, so. Um, but I'm also not getting bit up ones this year last year like 25 percent of them were damaged had holes in them and that type of stuff i have not had a single hole in any of the muskrats i've uh caught so far so um they must be scattered out the population's low enough that they're not fighting with each other unfortunately the population's low enough that they're not fighting with each other i guess i don't know so yeah uh i did put in one more beaver set so there's a lot of sign and we actually seen the beaver there he comes swimming out from some trees and we walked over there and i think he was cutting when we showed up and he comes swimming out into the slough not far from where i put my set like maybe 30 yards from where i put my set the wind is blowing out of the south and it's supposed to stay that way for the next couple days that's where my set is is south of where the beaver house is so my scent should be blowing right at that beaver house or towards the beaver house so i think that should be promising there i'm not trying to catch every beaver in the country either i want to catch like one or two beaver this season my goal was three i believe if i catch one or two the way my season's going right now um especially like in that slough if i catch i'm only going to put one trap in there to start with here Unless I go a couple days and don't catch one, then I might try something a little different. But if I catch one, I'm going to remake it. If I catch a second one, I'm pulling it out of there. So two beavers out of there and I'll be done. Even if they're just little kits, 
I'm going to try and catch two beaver there and be done. Uh, in that other slough where I have the two beaver sets and I had the raccoon in the one today, again, like if I catch maybe one beaver or two at the most and out of there, I'm going to pull those sets too. So I, I don't want to catch every beaver in the country. I want to leave a few around. Where those are at, they're actually not bothering really anybody. I just want to catch one just to kind of fill out my list of, say, I caught one of each animal in my area this year. So I'm doing pretty good. The mink I didn't get last year, and I already got two of them yesterday. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to think. I actually, yeah, beaver is about the only thing. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I haven't caught. That might be the only animal I haven't caught yet that I can legally trap, other than like an otter, but I don't really consider that a you know, one of the main animals. It's like a one in a million chance that I'm gonna catch one. I have really one set out for an otter. It's on a little creek and I don't really, chances of one going through there is pretty slim, I think. I had a muskrat caught in it yesterday, so I feel like I'm gonna have more chance at a nuisance animal than I do. Uh, I have just as much luck at, let's put it this way, or just as much chance to catch a coyote in that otter set as I have to catch an otter in that otter set. That's how little of a chance there is I actually catch one. So, all right, I think that's it. Um, tomorrow, we'll probably not setting a lot of water sets at all. It's going to be busting ice around them. I'm going to probably try. The fields seem like they're drying up quite nicely. Um, I think I'm going to try and drive across a few fields tomorrow and try and pound in a few coyote sets. See if I can get, you know, two, three, four, five, you know, a half dozen in tomorrow and hopefully maybe percolate along and keep adding just a few here and there. Um, actually, maybe even tonight, uh, it's fairly early. I got 2.30 right now in the afternoon. Um, I actually think I may go pound in some coyote sets before I start skinning any of this stuff uh, just around our farm here. I think I can get in like probably five or six of them. I have spots where I want to put them. So I may actually go try and do that before I uh, start skinning anything tonight. Ideally, I'd like to put all this fur up and like the skunks I'm not going to mess with tonight. I probably will handle those tomorrow night so I can get them out of my yard before uh, some relatives are showing up. But all right, that's all I got for you. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said yesterday, tell a friend about my channel or about any uh, trapping related YouTube channel or hunting related YouTube channel. Uh, let's support each other out there. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button on my channel if you don't mind. Hit the thumbs up if you like my content. Otherwise, we'll see you out on the line tomorrow.